what is going on guys welcome back to another video so yeah you guys know what time of the year it is it is the itch season as you can see my car is semi clean um it's a lot cleaner than it used to be uh besides the car seat it's pretty much clean i could pretty much sleep on it again if i wanted to but yeah i'm out here shooting my bow and i wanted to show you guys the uh, new look to my bow check it out there is the new color scheme to my Hoyt Rampage. I have, let me see if I can show you guys. I am running red this year. And even got a red stabilizer on there. Anyways guys, there's the new setup. I got all red accents. It's not complete, it's still waiting on the red. And uh, these are gonna become red eventually, but yeah. I have my Hoy Rampage red up. So, totally looking forward to shooting this all year. A uh, few things that I changed up. Actually, not a few things, just one thing that I changed up. I'm running a new site. It's the, uh, if you guys could see, I am running the CBE Tactic. Um, I am running the CBE Tactic hybrid, one pin. I've decided to go one pin just to check out how I like one pin. And I'm here today because I have to decide it in. The other thing that I'm changing up is my trigger. I was using a Cobra release and I've been using Cobra release for about three seasons now. And uh, I have changed to Fletcher Archery. Fletcher. Yeah, so we'll see how this thing goes. Uh, I've been having some issues with my Cobra release because I've been screwing around there and I messed it up. I loved using that thing, but because I'm a bit of a, I don't know how to explain it. I kind of mess around with things when it shouldn't be messed around with. <laughs> Bad habit. I kind of screwed it up and it breaks on me from time to time. And it's a little sketchy using it now. So I decided to change it up finally. If I don't like this, I'm probably just gonna end up getting me a new Cobra release. So pretty easy it wraps around your wrist just like all the other other stuff and hopefully with any luck this this strap will be more comfortable because what I was the issue I was having with my Cobra release it would dig into right here because of the leather it, it wraps around right here and it would dig into here compared to this I don't think it wraps it sits pretty well so we'll see how this goes Anyways, guys, I got the bow set up. Uh, I didn't even grab my range finder. It's okay, I have it right here. My range finder. It comes with this little, um, uh, you can't even see it on there, but it's a little sight tape. It, it basically you just match it up to your arrows. I'm not sure which one's gonna be yet, but that's why we are here. <laughs> so let's go down range and check it out. So, how CBE custom bow equipment, by the way, guys. I love using that that uh, company, Custom Bow Equipment. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not advertising for them. I just like using their stuff. So uh, I had my uh, charger CBE out, but then um, it got stolen. So this will eventually get all CBE equipment because I like using the equipment, like I said. But yeah, quick shout out to Custom Bow Equipment. Keep doing what you guys are doing. You guys are awesome. Anyways. Uh -uh. I am gonna start off my 20 because how the instruction works for the uh, custom bow equipment uh, sight tape is you start off at your 20, you sight it in 20 and you go to 40, you set your 40, you make the marker and then you go off the tape. And then from there, I left the dang uh, range finder. I'll be back. Got it. I have a bad habit of leaving this around. I should put that string back on. Anyways, I needed to start my 20. I'm at 20. I'm pretty uh, familiar with this range by now. So I kind of know where I need to be and uh, how far I need, but I'm only good up to 40. So after 40 yards, I'm not sure where it's at anymore. Anyways, in case anybody's wondering, I am shooting Carbon Express arrows now. I searched over, not because uh, I didn't like the Eastons, um, but because I couldn't afford it anymore. <laughs> so it's a big drop. Uh, these are half the cost 
of the uh, East Ends, and uh, I've shot them before. So here's 20. Actually, I'm at 22, which I should probably step up to 20. Yeah, that's it. I just gotta move forward like that. Now I'm at 22. So this is 20, and we'll see how 20 shoots if I even hit the target. Pretty comfortable. Oh no. Far left and high. All right. And if I am far left, so let's move it very far to the left. Because I head very far to the left. All right. Take that in. I got to keep an eye on that arrow so I don't lose it. Pretty sure you guys can hear the highway behind me, but the highway is like, um, I want to say about 300 yards away. And even when I miss and uh, the arrow glides, it doesn't even reach the highway. So don't worry, guys. I'm, I've been here for years. I'm pretty sure you guys know. Yeah, I'd say my 20 is on, so that was 20 yards. Let's mark the 20. I'm on. I am on. I'll bring you guys along this time. This was my 40. The uh, little bubbler is actually working against me right now. The sun is hitting it and it's giving me a glare, like a really bright glare. So I'm probably seeing through the sight, but um, I'm doing okay. Not the greatest. Uh, I'm actually struggling to hold my boat right now because I haven't shot my boat for so long. So first shot was this one. I was aiming for white and I hit low. Adjusted it high for what well, adjusted a little bit and then took a shot. This one, first one, didn't really make. Let me show you guys. Oh, there you go. Second shot, still hit same level as the first shot, adjusted it higher. Third shot, fourth shot, noticed I hit a little low, so I went up a little more. The last shot, I basically hit on, and because of the glare, I'm having trouble seeing over here. I have to stick a little green dot over here for my rifle stuff. But I'm shooting here so much that my arrows are just going through it now. So I think it's about time for a new bag. I actually have one, but I just didn't bring it. Because it's somewhere else, not at storage. I didn't bring my camera today, just vlogging on my phone. Because uh, I lost my memory card. <sighs> I had a bunch of turkey hunts on there. And I lost them. I went turkey hunting with a buddy and I somehow misplaced my memory card. So I have a lot of missing turkey footages, which is unfortunate, but it's okay because I didn't see much turkey anyways. All I saw was a couple of hens. I wasn't looking to shoot any hens, so. 
Okay, I'm gonna go slap on the slate. Side tape. Okay. Sight tape is on. Okay, guys. As much as I would love to show you guys all the way to 100, I can't even put my bow anymore. I am struggling to hold these shots. I have like a 12 inch group right now. And I know 100% it's because of me, not the bow. My arms are tired. This is why you guys gotta practice, guys. Like practice, 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 practice. You cannot just shoot one time through the year and then wait for your hunting season to come around and expect to make perfect shots. You have to get your practice in, work your arm muscles, your wing muscles, your back muscles, so you can make consistent shots every time you take the shot. So I have not been practicing. <laughs> As you guys saw this whole season, I did a lot of rifle hunting. Oh, airplanes right over there. That's gonna change this season, the next, this coming up season. Anyways, another reason why I wanted to do this video, not it wasn't just because I wanted to show you guys that, you know, I changed it to red and it looks cool now, you know all red out like got red the red accents and everything on there wasn't really to show you guys to look cool i mean it is but the other thing is i finally have my hats up um for you guys to be able to get them um, i'll leave a link in my description to show you to uh, how you guys can get it um i don't have a website obviously i don't know how to do websites i not good with stuff like that so i just do it off ebay which is how i'm selling all my other stuff so if you guys want to help me out support me support my channel um these are just 20 bucks each plus shipping that's what it is going to be guys so if you guys want to get your hands on some of these black toe itch hats go get them thanks for tuning in guys i i'm gonna just pack up and go home because i'm getting too tired to shoot this thing <laughs> but i'll be out almost every day shooting this thing until season starts again um hope you guys had a great season uh it's still turkey season get yourself some turkeys um look forward to more tricky and because it's the off season i'm gonna be doing a lot of fly fishing maybe a little bit of bass fishing so um i'll see you guys on the next video again thanks for tuning in hit that subscribe button for me and um keep following me guys thanks peace out <laughs>